Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys today about one of the number one problems that I encounter when I am speaking with people in my Facebook group or when I'm speaking with clients and trying to get them to move on to the next level. And one of the most common answers that I get is that they have tried things that all fit under a certain category, but have tried minimal things that fit under another category. So I thought I would come on today and explain to you what those two categories are and what you can do to learn how to really start to move forward and level up by making sure you're incorporating activities and changes into your life that fall under both categories. So the first thing that you have to understand is that there are two types of action in life or two types of energies in life. And we're gonna call them, if you're from the personal development world, we're gonna call those passive action and active action. However, from a spiritual perspective, if this helps you understand what I'm saying more easily, you could think about it as masculine actions and feminine actions. So what's the difference? Let's think of it this way. Active action and masculine action are gonna be in the same category, and then feminine action and passive action are gonna be in the same category. And I'll start off with the feminine, more passive action. This is not to say that this is more negative than masculine or active action. It just means just like with feminine and masculine, you need a balance of both in order to be holistically intact. So my clients usually are doing some form of a feminine or passive action, and I have been guilty of the same thing. Some things that would fall under that category would be reading about change, watching videos about change, um, studying other people that are where you are, all of those things where you may be bringing in some information, studying in some information, etc. And where most of my clients failed and where I have been guilty of failing in the past and where you might be guilty of failing right now is, okay, so you read a book and it inspired you, but what did you do about it? Or what did you implement into your life based on what you learned? Um, same thing with watching an inspirational video. People do this all the time. People will go and get their hit off of a video or their favorite influencer or their favorite motivational speaker or whoever it be, but then you don't take that information and actively change your life. I spoke about this in my last video about how if you want to change your life, it does require both types of action, but you have to change who you are and you have to change how you respond to things in life and you have to move differently in life. And so the things that you are learning or the things that your favorite motivational speaker or inspirational quote is saying to you, all of those things mean nothing if you aren't actually putting them into action. And that is where 99% of the people fail to make the change that they wanna make in their life. When I get done asking them or having them move through all of the passive things that they've done, when I ask about action, nine times out of 10, they haven't taken any action. When I wanted to accomplish my goals and I wasn't getting anywhere, I wasn't taking action. I thought I was and it felt like I was because I could spend a lot of time consuming, goal setting, and doing all these different things. But if I'm not putting action behind the goal setting or the books that I was reading or any of those things, nothing is going to change. I might be smarter. I might understand what needs to happen differently. I might think that I know what needs to be different, but I haven't actually changed anything. So the passive and the active are not working together to move me forward, and neither are if we called it masculine and feminine. Some of you may be guilty of going the other way. And you may think that, especially in the spiritual community, that if you write your goals out, uh, visualize, and if you, you know, set, do your meditations every morning, and those are usually more feminine 
activities where you are being still, you are connecting with yourself in order to gain what you need to move forward. And that is vitally important. But again, what are you doing to make change in your life? So it can go two ways. You could either just be passive in not taking the inspired action or you could be passive because you're doing a lot of activity around receiving and not a lot of activity around doing there is a subset of us that are also guilty of being too masculine and too active because to level up you need intellect and you need intuition together that's where you're going to get your personal mastery that's your sweet spot and so if you are guilty of going, 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 doing, 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 pushing, 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 but you're forgetting about that receptive part of who you are or listening to your intuition or slowing down to receive information and to receive what the universe has to offer for you, then you may also find that you could be stuck. The key here is you want to find a balance between the two because the balance between the two is where you are going to get the most bang for your buck. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. If this is something that you struggle with, if you struggle with being too passive or maybe being too active and you need to learn how to tap into your spiritual side, I do help clients with both and I do have spots open for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if it's something that you feel like you need help with to move past your blocks, your obstacles, or to learn how to especially stop taking in all of the things and thinking that you are doing things that are going to change your life when you're stuck in that passive state of action and need help shifting over to the active state um, the how the doing then i will leave my information for you to sign up to apply for one of those spots and i will talk to you in the next video